Okay guys, let's compare narrow rims with wide rims. The wide rim here is a Wilderness Trail Bikes 45 mil inner width rim and the narrow one is a 24-25 mil LX rim. And the tire combo is the rear uh, race king and in the front the cross king. So it's the classic combo. And you know the problem is the race king is only available in 2.2. So if you want to get some more volume out of the tire, the wide rim is, is uh, the best possibility because you know the the the, um, the the if you cut the the tire crosswise um the the area is pr squared and mounted on on the wide rim you can bring the race king from i think this is 56 mil from edge to edge to 64 mil. <laughs> I know this is crazy, um, but it works. It works just fine. Um, and here on, on on the front wheel, you can bring the Cross King from I think 58 mil up to 66 mil so in both cases the 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 diameter went up by a little bit less than 20 percent so as the area is p r squared you increase the volume by 40 percent that's quite a lot and it means you can you can drop the air pressure and um, the rolling resistance goes down as well. I, I did some testing on it and just very simple basic testing, just um, rolling down a ramp and then yes, just um, comparing the, the distance it runs until, until you stop. And yes, the, the, the wider rims are actually a bit better, not a lot. And you always have to take in, into account that um, these tires are a bit newer, I think. This one is 2017, this is 2019, this is 2020 and this is 2022. And by the way, you can see how Conti improves the, the, the tire when you look at, for example, these, um, these outer knobs here. Here they are still, on the 2020 version, they are a little bit bigger than on the 2022 version. I wish Conti wouldn't, would cut off these these um, little nipples because you leave them in the forest and it's just microplastics and so I always cut them off with scissors to to not leave the microplastic in the in the in the woods but it would be great if they could really cut them off and yeah so let's look at the results um the the rolling resistance goes down a bit and the grip improves as well and the comfort as well because you can drop the air pressure i think that's because of this deformation this um this tire on the wide rim is is more how can you say that stretched so Basically, it, it just deforms less. It needs less energy to deform, and therefore 
runs faster. Yeah, so the conditions um, the conditions that um, it's it's perfect for is for example mud or snow where you, where you need the grip or for example if you if you go in terrain where you are not prone to to damage the sidewalls because you you can see it the sidewall is is a bit exposed if you look at it from this angle you can see that the outer part of the tire is the is the is the sidewall and even it's a it's a protection version it's still prone to to being cut by sharp stones so yeah but here in 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 uh, southern lower saxony it's just fine um as long as you know for example here i run i run about 20 20 percent tarmac and maybe maybe 30 percent trails and then a lot of forest autobahns and for that purpose it's just fine um what else can i say um yeah that's that's compared um for example i also tried the the 2.6 version of the Cross King on, on the front wheel um, but it is only available in the in the cheap version and it didn't run true it wobbled when, when I ran on smooth tarmac you could even hear it wobbling <laughs> that wasn't too much fun but you can you can increase the volume even further for example the width of the tire went up from from this version here 66 mil to then 71 mil on the 45 mil rim inner width rim and yes from 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 the rolling resistance point of view it was fine as well pretty much the same as this one and what else? For example, the Batsu, the Vittoria Batsu. I tried the Vittoria Batsu on the 45mm rim as well. And it is, um, it is a bit newer, I think. Uh, it, is, it has um, a rounder profile when you cut it um, crosswise. So it ran maybe a little bit faster. But it had uh, less grip in in when cornering, so I I switched back to the Cross King because it is a bit more predictable, and that's what I love about the the Cross King. It's really predictable, and the Race King is is really fast. So it's my combo, my tire combo of choice. Yeah, so after all, yeah, what the negative sides? Um, you you decrease your leaning angle because when you look at the profile, I, I hope you can see it somehow. Um, you can see it. This one is a lot more round, and this one. And that means if you lean too far, if you if your leaning angle is too sharp, then you you lose the grip when you're cornering. And it it didn't happen too too often to me. Maybe two or three times in the last. I think I have been ridden it now for two years. But I don't um, I don't ride that aggressive anymore and yeah so that's the, the negative point but on on the positive side you get lower rolling resistance 
more grip in, in normal circumstances and more comfort, lower air pressure. Yeah. Pretty nice combo.